What's up, everybody? Happy Tuesday. This is Michael. Graveyard shift. Wee hours, dead of night. The daily trivia question once again. Just had a, like a massive rainstorm come through. It was awesome. Felt great. Still feels great. Still coming down a little bit. Go outside and play in it a little bit. That's what I'm talking about. I hope your week is going well. Anywho, right to it. The answer to the previous trivia question was none other than Mr. Ohio's very own Mr. John Glenn. This guy's a true American hero. I really enjoyed researching him. And I've researched him before. So John Glenn was a lieutenant colonel in the U.S. Marine Corps in the 1950s. And he was chosen by NASA as one of the top seven with the right stuff. There's a reason why I used that phrase. That was the phrase given to the top seven. It's a great movie, by the way, too. This was in 1959 to become America's first astronauts. There were seven of them. John Glenn was one of them. He was a pilot. He was known as a, the clean Marine. Uh, he was a 100% military guy through and through. And this was the main recruitment area. Pilots were of NASCAR at the time during the uh, NASCAR. I said NASCAR. <laughs> NASA, rather, at the time during the, during the so-called space race, which I've talked about before multiple times in the past in my trivia questions. He had flown close to 150 combat missions during World War II and the Korean War at the time he entered into astronaut training with NASA. And this made him a prime candidate for an, to be an astronaut. This is exactly what NASA was looking for. Okay, and kind of a rush to get to an astronaut into space following Yuri Gar Gargarin's historic Soviet orbital flight. I'm sure I said that wrong. If I did, please forgive me. And two of our own suborbital flights, John Glenn launched into space and completed a total of three orbital flights of the Earth in five hours. This was uh, very historical for the United States as far as uh, our introduction into space exploration goes. He was the first person to orbit the Earth of the United States. It's a huge accomplishment for the U.S. and for NASA. Quite frankly, this accomplishment by Glenn kind of leveled the playing field, okay? Anybody could go up and can come back down, right? But what we needed to do was send somebody in orbit around the Earth, and that's exactly what John Glenn accomplished. He uh, orbited the Earth three times during that historic flight, and suddenly we were not second rate. We were a technological power in the space race, and the Russians realized that. In the Cold War, the force, we were a force to be reckoned with because of John Glenn's initial historical flight. The NASA program was off and running at this point in time. Space exploration for the United States had arrived. Glenn's flight was a huge part of this, without question. Now, NASA would eventually go on to ground Glenn. This, that essentially means they would not allow him to fly any longer, and this was not uncommon. Um, Kennedy's uh, assertion and overall view, as well as NASA's, was he, he was m more valuable as an ambassador, quite frankly, than as a career astronaut. They wanted to preserve his knowledge. They wanted to keep him around. And a lot of times what NASA would do is would, they'd put these guys in the booth, okay, as kind of coordinators, if you will, or uh, resources to use for other launches, okay. Glenn would be frustrated with this he was, because he had nothing to do professionally. So Glenn would officially leave NASCAR, NASA and throw his hat into the political ring. And in, it took him a few rounds to do that. He, was, he, he, didn't, he didn't get elected right away, but he eventually would get elected to the Senate of the United States where he would win re-election three times thereafter. And he served for a total of 24 incredible years from 1974 to 1999. Now, it was his. It was at this time in his presence on the Senate's Special Committee on Aging that the seed would be planted for his next flight in space. Glenn proposed to NASA that the benefit of flying an elderly person in space to study the effects of space on older people would be beneficial. He, it, it was perfect. It was win-win. Okay, it was the pinnacle of his career in politics, quite frankly, and it allowed him to go back to space on October 29th of 1998, which was the focus of the trivia question. John Glenn did, in fact, return to space aboard the Space Shuttle Discovery uniquely bridging two eras of space exploration, the Mercury uh, program 
from the 19 late 50s and 60s and the space shuttle program into the 80s and 90s respectively quite an amazing feat glenn's first flight in 1962 a couple of geek factoids lasted a little over five hours like i had referenced before with three orbits in space his second flight in 1998, lasted nine days with a total of 134 amazing trips around the Earth. Pretty neat stuff, folks. Glenn's service in the Senate for four consecutive terms in office is a record for the state of Ohio. I believe that still stands to this day. Ohio's very own John Glenn was awarded the Medal of Freedom in 2012 by President Barack Obama, and he died in 2016 at the age of 95 after living a very incredible American life. God bless him. All right, folks, let's keep the week moving and welcome in November. Get ready for Thanksgiving, man. That's what I'm talking about. For November 1st on this day, here's your brand new trivia question. On this day in 1800, in the last year of a one-term presidency, President John Adams becomes the very first president ever to do this and his wife abigail wasn't too happy about it good luck folks have a good tuesday peace out